Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make an IDM beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 135 beats per minute and the project key to A minor. IDM tracks typically have some kind of interesting rhythmic ideas going on, so I'm going to start with the drum beat. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, IDM kit. I start by adding side sticks on the second and fourth beats of the bar, with a kick on the one, and a beep on the third beat. I also add closed hats on quarter notes. I then duplicate them so they play on eighth notes as well. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I turn the velocity of these newly duplicated notes down to 67. I duplicate out this one bar drum sequence so that it lasts for the whole four bar clip. To make the drum part sound more interesting, I open the effects panel and add a delay, filter echo effect. I set the delay to 113 milliseconds and the cutoff to 1621 hertz. This creates a rhythmic dub delay style effect. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB so we have more headroom to add other elements to the mix. Let's add some music next. I create another instrument track and this time set it to keyboards, synth pads, atmosphere pad. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. I create a new region and stretch it out to 8 bars in length using the handle at the bottom right hand corner. I also duplicate the drum clip out so that it plays for the whole sequence. I program in a simple pad part that plays A, G, and D. Add another filter echo, this time setting the delay to 240 milliseconds. Next, I'd like to add a bass line. I make a new instrument track and set it to basses, synth basses, soft sign bass. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. I program in a bass line that plays A, C, and G, harmonizing with the pad. I want another pad part to create further harmonies with the original pad. This time I select the keyboards, synth pads, borealis pad instrument, again turning it down to minus 6 dB. I program in a part that plays A, D, A, B. I add a reverb, studio reverb too. I 
I definitely want to add some more instruments, but before I do, I'd like to get more atmospheric sounds in there. I'd like to use a TR-808 cowbell sound, so I open up BandLab Sounds and enter cowbell into the text search field. 808 cowbell is exactly the sound I'm after, but I'd like to be able to play it back at a different pitch. So I make a new sampler track and drag the sample onto the first sample pad. I set the pad's pitch to minus three semitones, then sequence it to play on the third beat of the four bar clip. I duplicate the clip over to play again. To make the sound more atmospheric, I add another studio reverb, this time setting the size to 8.3. I also turn this track down to minus 6 dB. I'd like more rhythmic and textural interest in the mix, so I look for a suitable drum loop that I can process. In BandLab Sounds, I search for Rave and open up the Rave 2020 pack. I set the instrument filter to Beats and drag Rave 2020 Beat 13 into the project. I turn the track down to minus 6 dB. I double click the audio clip to bring up the editor screen. Here I set the pitch shift down minus 12 semitones. When audio is pitch shifted by such extreme amounts, its character can change in interesting ways. This gives the beat an unusual lo-fi feel. Next I add a modulation phase 45 effect to give it some textural movement. I then add a studio reverb, turning the mix and size up to their maximum and the color down to a minimum. This creates a big booming reverb effect. I'd like to thin out the lows of this part, so I add a tone multi-filter, set it to high pass, and put the frequency at around 300 hertz. I'd like another rhythmic loop, so I drag Rave 2020 Beat 09 into the project. This features modulated delayed hats, and I'd like to tone down these delays. I add a dynamics noise gate, turning the release down to its minimum and the threshold up to its maximum. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. Now it's time for a lead. I add an instrument track and set it to keyboards, synth keys, house chords. I program a simple part that plays A, G, A. I add a filter echo, setting the delay to 277 milliseconds, 
and the feedback to 87%. I also add a studio reverb setting the size to 8.8. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. I'd like another sound to play some chords, and for this I choose keyboards, synth keys, lo-fi saw. This plays an A with a perfect fifth, and an A with a perfect fourth. I add a filter echo with a delay time set to 347 milliseconds and a feedback of 78%. I also add a studio reverb. I turn this track down to minus 6 dB. For the arrangement, I'm going to go for a progressive structure that evolves slowly and gives the listener a chance to take in each new sound as it makes an appearance. I start out atmospheric with the cowbell and the main pad. Then the harmony pad comes in. Next, the drum beat kicks in. Next, the lead is added. The bass finally appears after that. I then swap the cowbell out for a processed drum loop and lo-fi saw chords. Then those modulated claps are added. leave the mix as the cowbell returns.
Next, the claps drop out, and the bass returns for a brief period. Finally, we lose the drum beat for the track's outro. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!